You are now listening to an all-new episode of Bubble Bath Stories with your hosts, Nikki Trends and Manny Oso. Holy moly! Holy moly. We're back. And we're better than ever. Pew, pew, pew. Pew. Oh, 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 oh you yeah, got me. You got no, me. You guys, we you miss you me. so much. I know we've been gone for a really long time, but have no fear. This is the second season you're listening to. Boop, boop, boop. And we have a special guest. Special guest, introduce yourself. Special guest, special guest, go ahead. My name is Kristen. Yay! Kristen. And Kristen, what do you do? What do you do? I work in hospitality in Florida. In Florida. In Orlando. Do, what's your favorite cereal? Lucky Charms. Oh, Lucky yes. Charms. However, that was so random, but uh, Kristen is a long-time listener, first-time guest, so congratulations. Yay! Yay! Um, so this episode, me and Manny just felt like we really had to tackle the whole issue on customer service. Oh, definitely. Because there's, uh, you know, I mean, I work in customer service myself. I uh, work in it, it with uh, rental cars. And with that, man, when people are on vacation and things go wrong, they're the worst people to deal with. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I agreed. Yeah, you work with the hotel, right? Yes, I do. Okay, so I'm sure you've seen people's reservations just go wrong for their own reasons for yeah. their own faults <laughs> yeah. it's like we say when they go on vacation they like have vacation brain and they just forget everything they lose all common sense i mean it's <laughs> the people who go there all the time that you're like how do you not have your license with you <laughs> i think for me like when i go into places let's say chick-fil-a yeah i always try to be super polite to everybody yeah because they're super good with their customer service like even in the worst neighborhoods their customer service is always impeccable. listen definitely there's definitely some companies that like they treat their employees very good and so they're happy to actually help you <laughs> but man so if you walk into mcdonald's at midnight they're not happy to be there they're, they're not, not gonna, gonna give you ice cream they're not gonna give you ice cream or when yeah. you ask for an extra cup of sweet and sour sauce they look at you like no. I think it's general. But Chick-fil-A, you go in and they're like, oh yeah, here's... So, three Chick-fil-A sauces. There you go. <laughs> like All three, three of us. Go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> All three of us agree Chick-fil-A, hands down, best customer service ever. I mean, I'm pretty yeah. sure, I mean, they, I'm pretty sure they've been studied as far as their uh, tactics because they do something. They definitely do something to keep people coming back because it's not just how they're treating their employees, it's definitely how their employees are treating us. Because, man, do we love getting that free barbecue sauce <laughs> and not have to get in a fight about it. So, I guess, working in a hotel, what are some of the craziest things that you just had to be like, no, this can't be real. This, Oh, my God. Um, oh, I'm trying to think what's the craziest thing. Well, so, has uh, reservations gone wrong? Reservations are always going wrong. Okay. People are always mad that their room's not ready on time, but they're like, oh, check-ins at 4 o'clock. But they show up at 9 a.m. like, why isn't my room ready? <laughs> like... Uh, hello online, it says check in 4 o'clock and you're coming in at 9 o'clock yeah, yeah. expecting everything to be done. The person still sleeping in your bed is still there. Exactly. That's yes. why your room's yes. already. Yes. Yeah, I've always wondered, why is check-in always 4 o'clock? I mean, flights get in early Ooh, too. I don't know. I don't oh, know. Did they not tell you that? In no. Oh, I don't secret. know. You have to be third level to get that because one. Because usually they say check-out in a lot of places are like 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. Yeah. So, like, there's just so much time in between, and it doesn't take that long. I can't, like... Well, depending yeah. on, like, if you're at, like, a regular motel or if you're, like, in a luxury <laughs> hotel, you know? I guess depending on how big the floor. room it is. Oh, my God, that's so funny. So, they don't tell anyone. They're just, like, this is what Honestly, I have no idea. It's just... Some people, some of them are like checking at three o'clock, and you're like, oh my god, okay, I guess I don't have to stay over there for a whole hour. <laughs> but sometimes you do go, and you're like, oh, it's nine a.m. I'm here to check in, and they're like, okay, your room's ready. Was it definitely a situation where you were like, mm, I'm rethinking my whole career? Choice. You know, what? you know, what? you have to wait for three o'clock. <laughs> Is that really well, that kind of customer? I have never, I never worked front desk, right? So I don't have that kind of experience. So it's like, oh, listen, I think. Uh, any kind of job, and even if you're not in customer service, there's always like policies and procedures that you have to abide by. Yeah. And you're definitely, not that you're allowed to, but you can break and bend some rules for some people to help them out. But have there really been people who you're like, you know what, I'm going to follow the rules with this person. You got to wait till three o'clock. <laughs> you got to wait till check in at three o'clock and no exceptions. <laughs> uh, I don't, not really. Because I feel... Like that's how I get in people's faces. I don't, I don't, I don't cuss at them. I don't fight them. What I do is I go, you know what? I'm gonna follow policy and procedure. You didn't rent a compact, sir. 
but with mine i've never had to like i said i never had to work in like front desk so mm -hmm. i don't have to be like oh you have to do things at this time yeah so I like all of my positions in the hotel i've been doing like the entertainment for like the guests so it's not really like you know so how is that when you have to entertain guests or is there ever like a time where you're just like no i'm done like this is it i can't do this yeah when you you know being florida in like december and there's like nobody on the pool deck and you're still yeah. trying to do like <laughs> trivia or bingo mm. <laughs> like when i used to do uh recreation at disney and it was a slow time we would just do trivia to the lifeguards <laughs> <laughs> we would just start saying like all right so and so how many dancing. how many uh mountains are there magic kingdom Ooh. and it's just like get off the pool Kristen. <laughs> <laughs> But, like, is there, I guess when it's busy season, like, how do you handle the crowd control in that? Because I could imagine, like, if you're dealing with kids and adults, when it's hot outside, I feel like... It's usually the drunk sense. people that you're just... Oh, my I God. Oh. <laughs> yes, drunk people are the worst to deal with. Um, it, especially when they want to continue to tell you, oh, I thought the customer was always right. Like, there was one time I was working, and we had, like, a trivia night. Yeah. And... It, this family, they were arguing with another another family <laughs> because that round, like the one team won, and they won koozies. <laughs> and the other family was getting so upset that we ended up having to call security. Oh my god! Because they were literally fighting for over koozies. That's like, all they wanted. They were. And like, we were just about to go koozies? into our recreation center and well, be like, "Here's the koozies." Just yeah, like shut, you're like, up. shut up. Do you have to remember the trivia question that broke the straw? <laughs> I, that was like two years and I don't remember, but it was. You should it was never ask so that question stupid. again. <laughs> don't ever more. ask that question again. <laughs> it was moves. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh. Are there ever? Was there ever a time where, like, guess? Do you work? A, I'm assuming you work a lot with kids, right? If you yeah. Imagine. So, is there ever a time where you're just like? I don't want to do with this kids. <laughs> are like you can spot it from a mile away. Like this kid's just like bad news. Um. Yeah. Now with my current job, I'm not gonna say where I work now, but you know. Um, a lot of parents, you know, let's just say it's like a fancy hotel, right. per se. Privilege. Privilege, yes. And a lot of the kids who do come out, they think they're like privileged privilege, and they think they like know and own everything. And you're just like, do you know pump the brakes, little boy, <laughs> pump the brakes, like relax. <laughs> I don't work necessarily in customer service anymore, but I do remember when I worked at Journeys, the store was so small, we weren't allowed to let people just sit and hang out because it was a really small store. Yeah. And I remember how to ask these girls, like, one, like, oh, are you being helped? No. Is there anything I can help you with? No. So then I had to, unfortunately, be, like, the L7 to be, like, okay, guys, sorry, like, you guys can't just sit here. So they got pissed off and told their moms. Meanwhile, their mom is, like, screaming at me while they're buying the Uggs that I'm getting commission for. And she's like, oh, why would my daughter want to hang out in this crappy store anyway? And in my mind, I'm like, but you're, here you are. Buying, buying the Uggs? Here you are. <laughs> here you are buying the Give Uggs. Give me like, money. What? And so I had to apologize. And then she didn't like my apologies because what I said was, <laughs> I'm sorry you feel like and she's like what kind of apology it was like a whole fucking big shit show for and <laughs> that's like, a forced apology man. yeah I'm like, I'm like I don't care if your daughter hangs I'm obviously just doing my job like yeah. that's all that I'm doing for you to try and yell at me so I'm happy I'm not in customer service anymore but when I hear like stories from when he's talking oh about rental cars and then you work in hospitality so I was just always like, oh my god, be nice to those people. They have to work on holidays. <laughs> and I've seen the way people treat, like, the bellmen. Like, they'll have them pile on, lug like, 50 lug luggages, let's say. Yeah. And they'll, they won't tip them. Or it'll be oh, like, shit. here, can you take me back to my room over here? And they'll give them, like, two bucks. And you're like, yeah. they just did all of this for you, and you're... yeah. Tip your bellman, people. I think I think the people who take care of you while you're on vacation are the ones that should be taken care of the most. Yeah. Because they got to sit there and look at you while you relax. Yeah, right? Yeah. Especially, yo, holidays for real. Like, if no, you see people Florida, working it's like holidays. It's in front of a hungry person. <laughs> <laughs> Vacationing in front of a fun. worker. Yeah, yeah, having fun in front of workers. It's like, yeah, leave me. You don't have to work. Yay. Yay. You take my shoes, please. But you've worked in some, like... Oh, like you worked at Starbucks, which I can imagine is yeah. terrible. Yeah, I worked at Starbucks. Uh, talk about privilege with customers there, and for coffee, for, <laughs> we all drink coffee. 
that same coffee is at the gas station right down the block. <laughs> yeah. So give me my seven seventy five for yeah, a tall right. macchiato latte. Um, I actually my face. I worked the holidays with that a lot, and on Thanksgiving I was ten minutes late to open the store, and man. People were livid about that. People were very serious about their. Routine. I was just about to say, and their coffee. Yeah. When it comes to coffee, like, everybody's like, like, like I, I, I need my coffee I need, now. I, I need to get coffee. to work in five minutes. Are you not open yet? <laughs> like, no, man. But I'll say you're late. I was making the turkey. <laughs> Well, so you're late. So they were probably... Uh, is it? Fast food people, like workers, I don't fuck with. I don't fuck with. I'm super nice. I'm probably overly nice. Yeah. Probably smiling, whatever they say. Just like, okay, yes, thank you. And go away. Because I just don't want to fuck with them. I feel like they get it the worst. And I don't want to catch somebody on a bad day. So I'm always just like, thank you. Please. Hi, how are you? Yes. I'm like, oh, sorry for the wait. No problem. Dude, because when you. I see those videos of people just getting pissed off because they don't have chicken nuggets, and you know, it's probably just like this person's just having a bad day. Yeah. And go over the counter and start a fight. You just like, over a chicken nugget. Over a chicken nugget. Over like, a chicken you're going to go to jail over a chicken nugget. You got four instead of the five piece. Yeah. <laughs> like, it gets crazy. You're just like, oh my God. Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, you know. People have to be a little more respectful to the customer service industry because, okay. you know, what, what if we all just stop servicing people? <laughs> you know how <laughs> the world would stop said. turning? No, I think it's also one of those things when you work in customer service, I feel like you're very overly, um, you're just nice. careful. Yeah, like you're just careful about how you interact with other people uh, who are in customer service. You can tell the people who've never worked a day in customer service mm -hmm. in their life because they do think they're always right. They constantly ask for a manager, even though the manager is going to tell you the same thing the cashier is telling you because nobody wants to deal with anybody. And so you're just like, I can tell you've never worked in the mall before <laughs> during the holiday on Black Friday, which the is like the God worst. Yeah, for Uggs. You know, oh, I no. stopped uh, letting people ask for the manager. I just tell them, no. I'm not gonna ask a manager for something that now they're just gonna tell you say that I'm not gonna waste his time. But wouldn't you get in trouble if you didn't call the manager? <sighs> That's why. Or I you do can call like, the I am the manager. I do like Ooh. working for a union. They do protect you. <laughs> well, do you do you like? Have you ever had somebody be like, I want to talk to your manager over like a fucking game or something? Not over a game, but um. At one of the hotels I worked with, they had like the mermaid classes. Oh yeah, and that's a third party company. So this lady got super upset that she came to her reservation late, and the lady <laughs> had already been in the pool with yeah. the other kids, yeah. like doing the lesson and whatever. And she was upset that the girl didn't get out of the pool to, to help, help her, her daughter. <laughs> but she's like, I can't leave because technically I have kids in the water, so I can't leave them. Yeah, unattended. Well, and then she got. So so upset like to a point class. where we were closed down and then one of the servers from the restaurant was walking by and he heard the lady yelling at me and this other guy and like he went got the manager from the restaurant and then oh, they yeah. came in and they were like man like it's not their fault they're the third party company blah blah, blah. Yeah. and then they started like comping her all this stuff and we're like <gasps> That, I hate that. That doesn't make the situation better because now she's in the whole time. And like she was like, "Oh, my plans to Sea World are messed up." <laughs> wow, like she was making this whole big deal for nothing. We're like, "Well, there's another class, you know, at this time." Yeah. Oh, we can't do it because we have to go to Sea World. Blah, blah. Like, like, you yeah, really don't want yeah. your daughter to be in this. Yeah. Mermaid class then if you're making a big deal about it. It's not that serious. Because you were late. Yeah. yeah. Because you were late. Not because we were late. The teacher was here. <laughs> Damn. It's almost like rewarding bad behavior. Because now yes. I bet she came back and she was like... Which is why I don't let them ask for a manager. Because I'm not going to reward that. Well, we didn't ask for the manager. The One of the servers... No, but that's yelling. what I'm saying. I don't want the manager to reward their bad behavior. Oh. So I'm like, no, no, you let the manager go and deal with what they're doing with. You're dealing with me. That's because you'd rather fight to the bitter end and just like, <laughs> instead of let it be over. I'd rather just, whatever, I don't care, just let it be over. Like, I'm not even going to stress I guess, you. I mean, some people do have that attitude where it's like, oh, it's not my company, it's not my money, so yeah, let it be. But you know, I mean, I got to come back to this job tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> 
Yeah, you know, I'm probably gonna see you and tomorrow. Now, too. That person got away with it, so they're probably gonna come back here tomorrow. Yeah, too. <laughs> it's such a tricky situation. I just like, I just know there has to be some people when they're working like in fast food restaurants or even hospitality or rental places, <laughs> like or movie theater. It's just like dumb the things that people really do explode over. And it's kind of like I don't know why you're upset at me. I'm really just trying to do my like the whole time. You're just like. <laughs> This is rules and regulations. Like, I'm just really trying to do right now. Yeah. This is what my boss told me I had to do. I don't care. I, I wish I could give you all the free popcorn you want. I can't. <laughs> they count all this stuff, and this is like, I can't yeah. give it to you. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, I make commission on this. You think I don't want to rent you the car? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? It's you. You're the problem. You don't have the money. <laughs> you don't have the money. You're not old enough. I, like, think, um, I think what it really comes down, it comes from the instant gratification in our society. You know, like, if you don't get what you want, you, uh, I need to get it. I need to get it. You know, like. Like, and then everybody wants to put you on videotape and be like, you're a racist. You're just yeah. Like, mm, lady. Everybody's <laughs> quick to um to be right, you know, without yeah, seeing if true. there's anything wrong with it. It's so funny because people will for very quickly pull out their cell phone and you're like, I don't know where you're recording. It's the, I'm it's not the fighting with you. Yeah. Like, yeah. I wish I could give you the free nuggets, but I can't. I don't understand why you're recording me. Do you want me? I can't give you the free nothing. <laughs> like, everybody wants to be a viral sensation. Like, yes. everybody wants to be a viral My story. Role. And you're yeah. just like, lady, if you look up all the rules. I remember so you know, hard, <laughs> Yeah, like, I have to check your receipt. Or yeah. I have to... I have to do this. I don't want to do it. I don't care. You think I like this? No, I have to do this. It's not that I don't trust you. I don't know who you are. <laughs> yeah, like, you don't have any don't... bags in your hand. <laughs> I know paid for something. I need to know yeah. what it is. I know Rhonda down the road already checked. I'm going to check too, though, because they're <laughs> telling me to. <laughs> yeah, because when you post those videos, the comments are like crazy. They're crazy. They're yeah. full of people who think they're lawyers and cops. And when you see things, a part of an industry that you're a part of, you're like, no. Nah, he handled that. that. Yeah, like he handled that really well. Like, I don't even know yeah. what, mm, what are we arguing about? Just like, did you hear about the lady who's upset um, about how childless people shouldn't be going to Disney anymore. I'm sorry, what? What? <laughs> yes, apparently some lady was so upset and she said that people who don't have children shouldn't go to Disney anymore. Mm. Oh, because the prices are raising so high? I don't know if it's the prices, but she was just upset because she's like, it's supposed to be for children, blah, blah, blah. So why are you there? No idea. Because she has either. children. Okay, so, but you technically aren't supposed to be there. So there, everybody, <laughs> like, what's up with that? That's so, people who and are her childless story, price and her story way got more money. So, like, her story's, like, going viral. Yeah, because she's an idiot. Like, yeah, like yeah. nobody's... Like this woman and they hero. crowd together. They crowd up. Yeah, idiots. You know. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I did not hear that. So, like, wh- I'm gonna have to what? check that out. Yeah. Like, what does it even matter? Why? Why? Um, How does this affect? <laughs> They're not getting on the same rides as your children. Like, I mean, who cares? If I want to go on, it's a small world. Let me go on. It's a small yeah, world. I spent yeah. my money the same colors as yours. I mean, plus Magic Kingdom is only one of the four parks. The other ones are definitely adult parks. Yeah. Park, that's an adult place, you know? Uh, what, what's the other one? Animal um, Kingdom. Animal Kingdom. And Hollywood Kingdom, Studios. Hollywood Studios. That's all adult stuff. That's yeah, not just kids stuff. Yeah, yeah, kids actually probably don't even care about Star that. Wars, that's an adult thing. <laughs> That is true. I think you see more. Yeah, adults so and Star Wars. You know, tell kids are getting in the way. Tell true. Us, like, I don't know who she is, who this Disney <laughs> diva lady is, but you tell her. People. Do you know her? No. Because <laughs> <laughs> all people. Okay, so we are trying something new with our guests. We are going to spit fire a couple of headlines, and we want to know the first thing that comes to your head. Okay. So you can't think about it. It's like the first thing that comes to your head. So like, but the little make your mind all clear. <laughs> Yeah, so some of these things have been uh, actually at, coming up into the news lately. Uh, and we try to know. Cable, so I don't know anything about Well, that. it's fine. <laughs> well, that's good. There's <laughs> some, some ridiculous things that have been happening. Like, for one thing, uh, so K pop has actually been growing huge yes. here in America, apparently. Yes. So much so that MTV wants to add their own category as best K pop. What do you think wow. about that? I say good for MTV going oh, for like. You know, changing it up. Keeping yeah. it with the music, you know. 
I don't know. I mean, some of the K-pop stuff is like... No, it's not even K-pop. It's just on TV. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one. All right, so uh, the season has been very, very hot. It's terrible. And so now Las Vegas is actually having a uh, love bug and grasshopper invasion. I saw that. Yeah, it's that... getting all over their cars. But it's what's worse, a love bug or a grasshopper invasion? Oh, probably love bugs. Love bugs. Oh, and grasshoppers? Okay, look. Those at, least gra- at least grasshoppers, like, they can, like, go away. Love bugs, they just, they don't go away. They just <laughs> stay there. All right, next one. Okay, so um, we don't know why parents don't want to be watching their kids anymore, but apparently Pampers has a division that's coming out with smart diapers that give you a notification when it's time to change your kids. Are you serious? Yeah, what do you think what? about that? That's dumb. <laughs> Okay. Like, why do you need to know, like, oh, I got an alert on my phone, <laughs> my child peed, he's just, got a few hours more in that just diaper. Just go yeah. like... Be, okay. They have those diapers where it's like if they pee, like the things change colors on the diaper. Like that is technology. It's like just that's so stupid. <laughs> and like, last why? one, how do you feel about the internet campaigning for Ice Bay? What? Okay, so there is real quick backstory. There is this. Um, she's part of ICE, and she's a security guard, so she obviously secures, you know, um, the she's cages a, that she's all She's an internet are sensation. In. And now, people have dubbed her Ice Bay. How do you feel about the internet? She's a hottie that also works for ICE. And she's a Creating inter- Ice Bay. Instagram I think that should be a big X. Like, don't, why <laughs> are we <laughs> promoting that? Is it because she works for ICE? Or are you just like, that's dumb, like... Both! Yes, okay, I agree. I think both are And that has been our lightning round with Kristen in Hospitality. (gasps) Woo! I want to thank everybody for coming back and listening to us. Uh, Make sure to go onto our Instagram and our Snapchats and check us out. But first, where can they find you, Kristen? Uh, You can find me on Instagram at KDUBZ21. KDUBZ21. in the house. If you guys want to find out what's going on with us individually, you can find me um, on Instagram. Instagram at Nikki Trends. And you can get me at I uh, Got No Time for This. But if you want to follow the show, you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Bubble Bath Stories. And don't forget that hashtag Rubber Ducky Gang. gang Rubber Ducky, ducky gang. gang. Anyway, we're so happy to be back. Don't worry, this is just the first one. On to the next one. We will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.